It's the weekly reset, so we're going to go over what is available for this week, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here, welcome to Guardian Watcher. So, it is the weekly reset, but before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken annual pass giveaway for February 2019, then go ahead and click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. Also, don't make fun of my warlock, he is very power deficient. So, we are going to go ahead and start with the challenges first. Uh, starting with the Traveler. And I haven't been on my warlock in a very long time. So, we have Ikora, which we need to complete 20 of her weekly bounties. Then we have uh, Clan Rewards, which you need to uh, do <laughs> enough uh, Clan Bounties to get 5,000 XP. I don't even have the Annex like unlocked on this character. Jesus, that's how long it's been. But I'm pretty sure we have 801 stuff here too. Oh my god. I need to play with my Warlock more. So, as for this wonderful place, uh, Mars, we have the Psionic Potential, which is a heroic event. Uh, I'm sorry, a heroic adventure. And then we have the Flashpoint, which is on Mars, which we need to do the public events, Lost Sectors, and Heroic Adventures. And if we do the heroic versions of the public events, we can do it a lot faster. Coming down to the Vanguard, we need to complete three daily story missions, as well as complete three strikes. Modifiers this week are Solar Singe, Grounded, as well as Brawler. Then we need to complete a uh, Nightfall Strike, as well as complete one with 100,000 points or more. Nightfall this week are a Garden World, Sabathun Song, and The Will of Thousands. Coming to Gambit, we need to complete three Gambit matches. Over here in Crucible, we need to complete five Crucible matches. And the weekly Crucible uh, game mode is Showdown. And all these can be completed um, to get the uh, challenges except for in Private Match. Coming over to the Dreaming City. Our wonderful uh, friend Petrovenge is in the Valiant Mists. And we need to complete two of her weekly bounties. So let's see what Tess Everest has at the Eververse for us this week. Starting with the Prismatic Matrix, we have S'mores! I'm not even sure if I have this uh, emote or not. I think it's pretty cool. Then we have Soros Chrome, which is the ornament for the Soros Regime, or one of the ornaments, because there are several, and I really think this like ornament is pretty badass. Gives you like a brush aluminum, uh, how do you say, or, uh, skin for the Soros. Then we have Vanguard Dare Boots for the Hunter, Star Crossed Heart for the Titan, as well as Symmetrist Balance for the Warlock. On the other side, we have Aim is True, which is the ornament for the No Turning Back. Then we have uh, Vega Wave which is a uh, sparrow. Then we have Where I Belong, for which is another sparrow. And then we have Tactical, uh, Technical Meltdown, which is a ship. And then last but not least, we have your Oh Snap emote. As for the uh, wonderful packages we have, obviously we have your etched engrams. Uh, then we have Forge's Ignition Bundle, or at least I do. And then we also have uh, Form Given Function Bundle. This comes with uh, three etched engrams, the Soros Chrome, as well as the Past Unearthed Transmat Effect. And that's what that looks like. As for the stuff of the week, we have Let's Chat. Then we have Dancy Dance. Then we have uh, 
I'm sorry, <laughs> a sparrow. I actually like the look of this one, even though it's like another reskin. Then we have uh, Speed Punk. Cautious Optimism. Uh, Jade Wim. I can't even say that Roman numeral. I'm not even going to take the time to do it. Then we have uh, Sanctum Plate Shell, which is a ghost shell, an exotic ghost shell with Banshee's favorite. Uh, Vanguard Scanner, Crucible Scanner, as well as a random mod. Actually looks pretty cool. It's like a little crystal shell. Then we have Titan Shell. Wow, this is old. Comes with two random mods. Then we have Symmetrist Masks, or Mask, sorry. Coming down here, we have the Callus's Promise, which is the ornament for... Um, the Skyburner's Oath, sorry about that. Then we have Kingmaker, which is the ornament for the Queen Breaker. Then we have Reflection Effects. Yellow Class Sigil. Uh, Mars Sunset Shader, as well as Hake History Polish Shader. And then your Gleaming Boon of the Vanguard. Leaving Boon of the Crucible, as well as Fire Team Medallion. Now, I'm actually doing this video pretty early, so it does show that the Iron Banner is still here. I'm not entirely sure if it's supposed to be gone this week, or it is a wonderful uh, glitch, because Lord Saladin is not here, but the Iron Banner thing is. So, yeah. I mean, it's not a glitch on my end. It's not lag, because... You can see everybody else here. It's just that he's not here. And now, my friends, brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know. You just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more. Because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.